U.S. presidents, everything's fine where I live. I saw someone destroy a TV because Biden become, became president and Trump supporter is an insult. So to those last two points, I can actually explain that. Um, uh, Trump supporters are inherently authoritarian. They like the idea of one strong man solving all of the issues and not having to think any more than that. That is me being very charitable to them and also not insulting them as much as I would like to instinctively because I do not like authoritarians and I do not like fascists and I consider the MAGA movement to be both. But as for why calling somebody as a Trump supporter is an insult, it's because if you are somebody that values freedom, liberty, choice, um, positive freedoms and things of that nature, a, gener a society and a community that you know is generally helpful towards its fellow man and is not um, incendiary or mean-spirited, a Trump supporter is someone who is none of those, none who is, who is all like doesn't support any of those things is generally kind of like toxic. And, you know, they get they they are happy to let people suffer if they have if they're if they view those people as part of the out group. Fascism is inherently a uh, is, is fundamentally at the end of the day, a difference between um, like fascism in you know is like like things like white supremacy and stuff like that are is not defined by what it is but what it isn't and what it in 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 is usually defined by who is the in group and who is the out group and use in using the powers of the state and the violence of the state to enforce that in group and out group um which is i think you know that is kind of a very very bare bones rough for explanation of what fascism is, the fourteen, uh, uh, the, I think the I think it was like the the, the eight points of like of identifying a, a fascism is, is usually like a much better indicator. But broadly speaking, people who like freedom and like helping others and who are generally like like doing good things that help others politically don't like being called Trump supporters because being called a Trump supporter is usually uh, synonymous with being an asshole because Trump supporters are usually assholes. They support political policies that are indicative of somebody being an asshole. They don't, they support, you know, being this, they're anti, they're anti-choice. They are anti-welfare. They are anti, um, you know they are anti you know you know free speech that you know they they you know they are a pro you know and the reason i say and they, they might be mad at me saying like oh i'm not anti free speech let me call trump a baby back bitch who never did anything fucking good and watch people have a fucking connection more more moreover there you know how else they're anti freedom of speech they say like I'm for so freedom of speech, and then they see a gay couple kissing in public, and then they have a fucking mental breakdown because they're so weak spirited and minded that they can't handle seeing people living their lives in ways that do not affect you whatsoever. Because at the end of the day, it is about control, it's about authoritarianism, and it's and and people who get offended by being associated with those ideologies that are inherent that people find inherently disgusting. I would be offended if someone called me a Trump supporter. Because, you know, I hold values and principles that are antithetical to everything that the Trump administration did. The Trump administration did like three or four good things that I could probably rubber stamp say, yeah, that's supportive. But, you know, you know, it's a molehill compared to a mountain of shit, you know, so it's kind of hard to justify like saying, yeah, I like the renegotiation of NAFTA. Yeah, I like the efforts that the honors that were made on in the North Korean Peninsula. Yeah, I like the, you know, the fact that he started. I liked Operation Warp Speed at getting the vaccine out. Yeah, I liked the um him and him for him um initiate initiating the uh, pullout of Afghanistan. But like, you know. He, you know, like the, 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 like all of the efforts that have been made with North Korea got washed down the toilet immediately. Um, uh, like after, uh, the NAFTA thing is fine. I don't have really have any comments on that as it is now. Um, but also like he didn't, he, you know, it's whatever. It, it didn't do as much as I would like. Um, he 
initiate Operation Warp Speed, but literally, but literally, uh, within like a month of like the vaccines coming out, he was already like decrying it and doing anti-vax bullshit, which undermined his own success of that program, and like he initiated the withdrawal of, with, of Afghanistan like a month before he got the boot out of office and Biden was the one who oversaw it anyways. So yeah. Yeah. I'm, and I'm, I'm pretty sure your dad has a lot of opinions about how all that went down, but fundamentally at the end of the day, like, you know, you know, people, there are people who were born after the towers fell and were old enough to fight and also then subsequently died in Afghanistan in a war that was like older than them. So, you know, it's, it's, you know, I, I think it's good. I think I, while people may have a lot of issues with how Biden like pulled out of Afghanistan, I'm kind of just like, it's whatever. Like, I'm just glad we're out and let's get out of more wars. But, um, but at the end of the day, Trump didn't really like do anything like, like the one good thing that he did do that I think that was good was, you know, reprioritizing uh, the, the the NAFTA agreement to focus on American workers more, which I was supportive of. Um, the other things are ki were kind of like undermined by him, either his own actions or like him just not being in office anymore. So it's like, and then there's like anti-trans stuff, the three Supreme Court justices who are fuckheads, there's the uh, the grabbing by the pussy shit, there's the, the complete debacle that was his, the, his White House administration, there was the all the judges he appointed in, in multiple courts that we're dealing the repercussions with, there was the fact that his he put he, the nepotism and put his children in charge of government in his, in, in his cabinet and shit. Uh, there was the fact that he uh like you know like endorsed white supremacists like or at least equivocated them to like people who were you know killed by white supremacists in charlottesville there was his the fact that he oh wait what oh yeah that's i thought i saw something on my screen uh there was the fact that trump let me see what was another thing he uh just the fact that like he always was doing some fuck shit every every week like clockwork there was just a constant news stream that was exhausting like he his his the the the, the big the, the one of the biggest things that pissed me off was his tax break plan his the american uh freedom act or whatever the fuck uh um paul ryan his that that milk toast bitch called it like that, that fuckhead had the nerve to like like the like like that that fucking tax act that Trump in his government passed was literally like is part of the, is like it had a six year delay on it where uh, everybody's who all, like it basically cut everybody's taxes and then after six years unless it it basically kept all none of the it, all of the tax breaks that went to like like people who were who were inherently wealthy like you got tax breaks on yachts you got tax breaks on house is bigger than a certain size you got tax breaks on you know stock portfolio that's tax breaks on a bunch of shit and then all and then like the in, in the general tax rates for people who were making less than a certain amount of money went back to a normal rate so this this coming year 2004 2024 um at the end of this like next year to in 2025 people are going to have a higher tax bill than this year because of the delay, because the Trump basically tricked all the all like uh, voters basically saying, oh, we got low taxes. And, you know, the amount of people yelling, no, wait, normal people are going to get fucked six years from now because when it reverts and all the rich people are taxes are going to stay are going to stay as they were. But nobody fucking heard that because, you know, unless you're neurotic like I am and keep up with political shit, you don't see that. So, yeah, Donald Trump has done like Donald Trump did a lot of awful shit to this country. He, you know. And, and, and also, and, and, and one of the biggest things is one of the things he did to cut just tons of money and shit out of the government was uh, basically killing the pandemic uh, response fund and and, 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 and depots. So we so back in 2012, 2013, the Obama administration like got a bunch of research from very from from scientists and epidemiologists they basically saying, Hey, 
you know, every hundred years, the human race has like, it seems has, seems to have like a giant pan, like worldwide pandemic every time we're super globalized and a lot of people die. And we're statistically going to have that sometime in the near future. We're overdue. And the Obama administration was like, that's fucking terrible. We should make we should have a bunch of things ready to go just in case that happens. So if it does happen, we can act decisively and quickly. And so the Obama administration had entire plans in place. They had depots of of N95 masks, they had depots of like of medical wear that they could distribute out to people who need them in the event that a pandemic happened, as well as sectioning off population, um, like 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 making like like making preventing the spread, um, uh, order like medical orders for medical professionals and states and governors to like be able to solve the issue. He, they had all that, and then as part of his 2018 cost cutting measures, what was the first thing that Donald Trump did? He looked for anything that wasn't military or social security and cut that shit. One of the things that was cut, that pandemic preparation uh, response fund and stuff. And so, lo and behold, 2020 comes around and the federal government is caught fucking flat footed with fuck all to do. Surprise! And so, and so, like, yeah, the so, so, yeah, um, Trump made the Trump, uh, it may not be the reason for coronavirus, but he is the reason why coronavirus, the lockdown, had to happen the way it did, probably at all. Like, he's like, it, at the end of the day, like, his, 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 him killing the pandemic, like, response fund and, and, and the depots and shit that was storing stuff just to try and save some like cost under, cost cost cutting for like the dipshit right wingers that are like balance the budget balance the budget yeah this you know this is this is why like that's part of the reason why like pe like covid was never taken care of he absolutely made fighting the pandemic harder not just because he wasn't even supporting his own vaccine that like research that he 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 would, did with Operation Warp Speed, but also because like he refused to fucking extend the lockdown. If we had done a two month lockdown, if we had done an actual two month lockdown where nobody fucking goes out and and mother and dumb fuck boomers and Gen Xers in, in, in living in their suburban homes who have like who hate their family weren't weren't fucking pissing and crying and shitting and whining about that shit and we actually did a, a two month quarantine where everybody's in quarantine and we did that shit for two months and the government sent out like weekly checks and they said we're gonna send everybody we're gonna send we're gonna send everybody a grand a week just to keep just to help you go give shit because like y'all can't open your jobs and shit whatever just to keep the fucking economy going if they had done that shit A million Americans wouldn't have died of COVID, and we still wouldn't be having COVID. Like, like people will get COVID now, and then their jobs will say, "Are you good to are you like? Can you can you st like if you like you can you will get COVID now, and if you're in like and you still have to go to work, and then you'll infect every fucking person you work with." So, I have a lot of fucking opinions about that shit. We 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 collectively as a society decided that the uh, economy was more important than the lives and health and well-being of our family it, th never mind that repeated exposure to covid can lead to deterioration in not only your physical well-being but also like your long-term health there's like there's like studies being done seeing like how it affects like literally the encoding of your dna and shit so great wonderful awesome um thanks fucking Thanks fucking conservatives. Thanks fucking Republicans. Primarily conservatives, because I don't. Because not all Republicans are, are not all Republicans are fucking stupid. But all conservatives, you know, being a conservative, the more conservative you are, the less you, the less you have to use you, the less, the more you have to force yourself to not use your brain to be able to believe the bullshit that you that you do. So, yeah. In a nutshell, um. To answer, to bring it back to your original question, Spoot, uh, somebody's destroying a TV because by the president is because they're brain dead and stupid. Uh, Trump support called it being called a Trump supporter for some people is an insult. Absolutely, because being a being a Trump being a conservative already inclines you to some level of stupidity. But you know, 
as you get further along th from the conservative to the ultra conservative to the reactionary to the to the fascist line where the where the where MAGA is, is the MAGA movement is currently hovering between reactionary and fascism, um, you have to be a thoroughbred dumbass to be able to believe that shit. Um, and not every Democrat nor Republican is stupid, but every hard leftist and hard. See the problem. The see, see the problem is some problem. The, the problem with like saying every like conserv hard conservatives and hard leftists are the same is because hard conservatives and hard leftists don't want the same things. Hard conservatives want the government to prevent people from, want want to the government to put people into different classes based on immutable characteristics. That is what a fascist is. A communist is the problem with in, with the American left is, is that so many of the American left is brain dead that like you can you can have a communist like it, it, it breaks down to leftism is anti authoritarian conservatism like like fascism is is very authoritarianism authoritarian and at hey Aza, we're in the middle of wizard 101 but we're doing a quick like political discussion so bear with me it's a stun lock um it, it, it depends on what type of leftist we're talking about if you're talking about an ml that's ba marxist leninists are basically a fucking cult uh maoists are basically authoritarians but you get you you don't have to worry about food like um one of the ideologies I think that I, I I'm a sock dem. I believe in in basically putting a fucking muzzle on the market and using the wealth it generates to make people's lives better um, by like taking the money from corporations and and, ta and, and by taking like profit from po corporate like profit from corporations and and you know taxing individuals so they so you, you we don't have billionaires like a, like a top level tax like a hundred percent tax on every dollar made over ten million dollars or some shit. Just basically to make it so like we can take that money, we make it so individuals and corporations aren't able to buy the government through lobbying, and that money can then be used to, you know, improve our roads, improve our communities, uh, help those in need, things of that nature. That's my general thing. Yeah, I, I had a wizard back in the day, uh, Aza, but this is my new one as like a current thing for me. But um, but yeah. Um, for me, for for me, it's like the 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 leftists that are bad are the ones that are basically like they want to do in groups and out groups. They don't they don't they're 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 it's like vanguardists, people who believe that the proletariat, like proletariat being working class men and women, um, are too stupid. So that, so we need to have a high, higher echelon echelon of intellectuals. There's plenty of morons on the left, but ostensibly, you know, what does a left wing person want? that we can abstainiously actually get here. Like, all the people LARPing about communism and all that bullshit, they're stupid, and, no, and that's not actually going to happen in my lifetime, our children's lifetime, or children's 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 lifetime. It is not going to happen for hundreds of years, minimum. It's a thousand-year project. It's not going to happen anytime in the near future. But, what, but, what, but, but, but ostensibly, what are, you know, far-right people asking for? They are asking for... Um, Traditional families, traditional families meaning women are forced to be in the home and not work. Men are forced to work long hours to pay for everything. Not ha Those men are not allowed to ha have any type of emotional depth to them. They are not allowed to, you know, to like feel or like be in touch with their emotions. Women are not allowed to own property. They are, are functionally property as are the children until they're adults or at least the young men are adults. And then once they're 18, then they have to go find their own person who like, like their own, build their own family. They, you know, like people who are of different ethnicities um, are not allowed to interact with each other. People who may like someone of the same sex or gender as you, you're considered a, it's a disease and you need to either change or you need to be put down. Like that's basically what it is. Oh, nice. Thank, thanks for the fan request, uh, Blaze, by the way. But um, at, the, at, the, at, the, at, the, at the end of the day, it's like, you know, most left wingers at this point in time, their goal is decommodification of things like Healthcare, maybe housing, you know, universal housing, housing, universal healthcare, uh, make it so wages are up. So like if you are, if you are able, if you work 40 hours a week, you're able to have a roof over your head, food on your, 
in your belly and clothes in your back and a little bit of discretionary buddy money to engage in the economy and in leisure and stuff which stimulates the economy and making it and, per, and also preventing the government and people and, and religious lunatics in the government from making laws that prevent people from having life liberty in the pursuit of happiness because you have a, a large population of people in this country that believe that god is telling them to uh outlaw gay people and stone women to death for having an abortion so that's you know right the right the right is trying to make your life worse the left is trying to make your life better um and because of where the overteen window is right now you're not going to get like the lunatic left-wing people who are trying to decommodify the entire the entire economy and turn us into a socialist communist you know country that's not going to happen there's not enough there's not will for that i certainly don't want that to happen per se like just because you know that's no but the right-wing people are absolutely but we are much more at risk of falling into a nazi germany looking type of government in, in in society than we are to falling into a ussr which you know ostensibly aren't that different in terms of like the authoritarian nature because like like i said in the beginning of this whole rant, like early in the beginning of this whole rant leftism is anti-authoritarian a uh, uh, right-wing ideology is inherently authoritarianism uh, authoritarian so um if 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 if, if the if the goal if if, if some if what someone is, it says they're a leftist and they're spouting authoritarian ideology they're not a leftist they're 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 called a campist or or a tanky they are basically a, they, we call them red fascists or red fascists they are just fascists who pretend who use left-wing aesthetics to you know try and justify their bullshit ideology but that's yeah that's that's the whole thing and that's the fucking clip